Apoc never loses. Let's continue the first place factory. So, uh, I don't normally play mini games off stream, but, uh, I've been playing some balloons and it's ruining my life. I don't even know why it's fun. Yeah, balloon six. I was looking for something to do, so I bought it on Steam. Thought maybe it would make a good stream game, but I'm not even streaming it! <sighs> You've done your due diligence. Due diligence, it may have been too harsh on Steam. <laughs> uh, okay. I just don't know where the giant statement came from. Answer is to stream it. It might be. I don't know. I kind of want to at least finish the Songs of Conquest mission. But Loons might be the next variety game. It's had five iterations to perfect the addictiveness of the game. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just a tower defense game. Monkeys popping balloons, what more can you want? It's ridiculous. I just don't know why! <laughs> I feel like it's poisoned my brain with something. It's the popping? It might be. Is it just like really clean UX? I don't feel like the gameplay is anything like special. Don't underestimate really clean UX. Yeah, I guess? I like to think that I give enough respect to clean UX, but maybe not. UX? Uh, user experience. The visual stuff, tactile feel of the game. This monkey is pixel perfect because it matters. I don't know. Jack's giant bot. What a menace. It's lots of numbers? It's not lots of numbers. It doesn't give you the numbers on anything. when the game's gonna be on mobile. They haven't given a, a date. They're trying to do it this year, but I don't know if it's gonna be the summer or end of the year. The progression reward feels good to scale in that game. Yeah. All the upgrades feel really meaningful. But like, it doesn't seem like something that should be replayable. But it is. This game has way more variety. Like, every game is different, right? Like, you don't get the same starting position every time. Where balloons, if you want to do the same thing every game, you can do the same thing every game. Huh. 
apps means different strategies. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. There's definitely a lot more variety to the maps than I was expecting. Balloons has more variety? That's definitely not true. There's what? How many maps? There's less than 100 maps, right? There's way more than 100 ways for even just the early game to go in games like Brawl. snap beta invite no i didn't realize there was an influencer form so i just filled out the regular beta form i got the other one filled out though so hopefully i get something but who knows power to the branching pass like 20 something 23 but you have access to them at all times Like, every time you play a map, you have access to the same starting state. Or you're in the same starting state. Or in Brawl, not only is the start state different, but the way the game progresses is different every time. But if you're doing the same thing on a map, like, that same strategy is going to work every time. You need to the influencer status based on Twitch file. I don't know. I there was just another form to fill out, so I filled it out. They asked for my primary... Uh, primary socials link, I think? Or it was primary, like, Twitch or YouTube. Every level is the same. Yeah, but the maps do make each stage play out very differently. Like, this is a problem that I thought Legion TD solved very well. And, like, all the waves are the same, but the way, like, the different sends and the randomized starting states of having access to different towers makes those waves all very distinct. To where even with only the one map, it does manage to be different every time. What am I doing? Other people is also kind of fun. Yeah, it would be similar to Legion TD. I haven't played Balloons Battles yet. No, we're talking about uh, the Marvel card game. Marvel Snap. Spice Pearl. Yeah. That's not an entirely fair way looking at it looking at it, because you can invalidate a lot of the the possible choices. Like shop one, if there's a black cat, the other two slots just don't matter, right? They're equivalent. You're probably not locking. You're just buying the black cat and letting it roll. No, but I would say a lot of actions does lead to more replayability. I think those are very closely related. Where's my XP? God damn it. Sure. Yeah, maybe that adds even more depth. But like, I'm even just looking at it from the perspective of the base game and the maps, and it still feels more replayable than I would have expected it to. Song. 
What about that XP? Can't get any of that XP. No. Okay. Good old APOC. I'm crawling not balloons. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just interesting to me how games like that can be so addictive. Balloons the game that looks like Zuma. What is Zuma? Guess it looks a little bit like Zuma. Oh my god, it's XP for next turn. I love APOC. What an incredible play pattern. Not nonsense at all. Not even a little bit. Completely normal gameplay. Nothing strange going on here. I don't have a 5 to eat. I'm eating a 4. Oh. ties every time. Trees! Hey, Agent Maru. Less Thanks than for the three, tier three. Two years, less than three old men. We really get into be yo who. <laughs> One second. Let me finish this turn. But I will try to parse what was just said in chat. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Forty-two years. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for the tier three. Much appreciated. Big enough. It's a pretty good board. Tree units. Let's see what's in the box. I've got 34 life. I can afford to play a little slow. Round table would be good. Magic sword would be good. Wouldn't mind a fairy queen wand. Grail's probably fine. Yeah. Mirror mirror. Uh, I don't know how I'd feel about mirror mirror. 
Grill's probably the best thing to get. Good boy, no! Thanks, Cupid. Uh, can always count on opponents' Cupids to feed the Yorms. stats to my board with the Pigo. Uh, I think technically he should Yes, he did. Yes, he did. After also Pigoing the Bear's team, he did. Black Prism. That is the worst one. I am not buying this good boy. I am not buying this Bear's team. Everyone's favorite prism based treasure. Keep one beauty's influence for good boy trees. I guess that's true. That's maybe worth considering. Give it to Orlando, he's such a great dude. He is. He is. He's just a great dude in general. anymore. Prism value. Yep. Great treasure. 10 out of 10. TG wasn't a stun deck. That's the thing. It played two skill drains. Like, you either played two Skill Drains, or you played, like, three Thunder Kings. The format before, the plant format, where it played King Tigers, it, you could, I guess you could call it a stun deck. But the Toronto format one, I wouldn't call a stun deck. stats come from come from these green knights. <laughs> oh. Uh I'm gonna sell this to try to find a spell. Sure. More towards building better combats, you're speaking in broad. Uh I don't know. People called it stun, but I never really liked calling it stun. Even the, the more stun-heavy builds didn't play much in the form of stun. Usually like two floodgate cards in the deck. Two or three. Like, I'm pretty sure if you put hat in 2011, people would have called hat hat stun. It's kind of just what people called trap decks. Okay, we're bigger. We're winning. <laughs> I'll replace the ring. <laughs> Another 
realm. Sure. I can invalidate my whole comp with procs. I think he's dead. Oh. Hey, Puck, too strong. We'll lead the poor lordy lads. <laughs> 